Okay, so you want to undervolt your RTX 4070 Super. Now, welcome back to Automotive PSUs, and this is the right place for you. What we are going to be doing here today is a full comprehensive tutorial with presets that's going to work for any brand out there. So no matter which brand your card is from, it might be from Nvidia, it might be from MSI, Asus, whatever. What we have here today is an MSI 2X Ventus, but again, it doesn't matter. It's going to work for every single card, and I will be giving you guys presets so if you want you can just copy the presets and then i will also tell you how you can fine tune the presets if you really want to find the maximum for your card now two things before we get started first off if you actually bought a 4070 super congratulations because it's the best card from the rtx 4000 series lineup so good choice there it's the most efficient one it's the best one to actually go ahead and undervolt so it's great but this tutorial will actually work even if you have an rtx 4070 ti super or an RTX 4080 Super. If you have any other GPUs, I have different tutorials for you guys. So go watch them, they're on the channel. Now, one last thing before we go ahead, promise me one thing. If this video ends up being helpful, please drop a like and a sub and maybe drop a comment telling me it helped you. With that said, let's go ahead and let's go into Windows. But you're gonna be needing two softwares, MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. I will put both of them down in the description so you can just download them and uh, yes, I will see you in Windows. Okay, so with those two softwares installed, first off, you wanna start having benchmark. Now, you wanna set it to ultra in quality, tessellation extreme, anti-aliasing X8, and resolution, this resolution. And you wanna uncheck the full screen option, okay? Do all this, then launch it. Then you wanna press the Windows button and you wanna open up Afterburner, okay? Now, with Afterburner opened, first thing you want to do is go into settings and enable the voltage control voltage monitoring hit apply hit yes and it will automatically reboot for you and now once we're here we have full control on our card so let's actually get started now first off is going to be the power efficient preset so copy these settings if you want to have basically the same performance as in the beginning but dramatically reduce your power consumption your temperatures and the noise of your card okay so you want to click on the curve editor you want to then grab the 900 millivolt voltage point while holding shift right there and then you want to bring it all the way up until you find 2550 now if it's not exactly 2550 it is still fine it might be slightly lower or slightly higher it doesn't matter but around this number okay now you want to click on the void in between the two points here with the left click. Now hold shift, click on the void with your left click on the mouse and hold it and select the whole curve just like this. Now grab one random point and bring it all the way down to flatten the curve and hit apply. As you can see, our curve will now be flat. So the card is gonna be running at 2550 the whole time right there. Now at this point, it's not finished yet. You also wanna unlock your power limit and temperature limit if you can. In my case, we are already maxed out. No worries, this is not gonna actually increase the power of your card. It's just gonna allow it to boost higher if it wants to. And then under memory clock, you wanna put plus 1000 and hit apply. And the first preset, the one for efficiency is now done. How do you save it? You go to save, you save it into one, you click on one, you click apply, you click here to start it with Windows, you go into settings, you enable start with Windows, start minimize, you hit apply, you hit OK, and you're out, and this is done. However, if you want more performance, let's go ahead with the performance preset, and then I will tell you how to make your own custom preset, okay? So performance preset, let's reset everything. Same procedure, but different values. This time we want to raise the 975 millivolt voltage point. So let's go grab it, hold shift, raise the whole curve, this time to 2750. In my case, 2751, again, doesn't matter if it's not exact. Then click on the void, left click, hold shift, select the right side, lower it all the way down, hit apply, curve is flattened, card is running at our frequency, we want to give it, again, plus 1000. We want to, again, unlock the power limit and temperature limit and hit apply. And then, again, we can save the profile, etc. 
and now the performance profile as well is done. Now, if you're still here, first of all, thank you. But second of all, here's how you can find out your exact sweet spot, because those are presets that are going to work for every single card out there, even the worst RTX 470 Super. But if your card is a bit luckier, here's how you find out. So having benchmark isn't really putting a strain on your card. It is just to put some load on the card. If you want to find, truthfully, your maximum, you're going to need to be stress testing the card. So you're going to be needing to test out a voltage point and then like play games until it crashes. And then once it crashes, you dial it back down a little bit so you can check. And you also want to do this one at a time, once for your memory clock and once for your core clock. So memory clock, a little bit of a range. The worst card ever, if plus 1000 doesn't work, is going to take plus 800 perfectly fine. Okay. The best card ever is going to do probably 1600 fully stable in any game out there. Okay, So you want to check this out. If you want to just copy it and you feel a bit lucky, I recommend 1200. But honestly, most cards can even do 1400 easily. So all the way up to 1400 is plenty fine for most cards. Okay, Let's talk about voltage points. Okay, So if you're lucky at the 900 millivolt voltage point, okay, you might be able to go higher. The highest I've seen on average is a little bit over 2600. So for example, in my card, I was trying just a few seconds before, 900, raise the whole curve at 2600, select the right side, flatten it out, and this works for me. Perfectly stable. But all the way up to 2650 will work for some cards. Okay, this for efficiency. Now for performance, at 975 millivolts, I've seen cards go all the way to 2850, okay? So for example, 2850, select the right side, lower it all the way down, hit apply, and on my card, it's working. So you might want to try this one out as well. However, if you want to push it even higher, the highest you can go before hitting thermal limit is going to be 1 volt, so 1000 millivolt. And with this, if you're very lucky, you can achieve 2900 megahertz okay and this is basically it so depending on how you set it you can increase your fps increase your performance decrease your temperature decrease your power consumption and in turn decrease your electricity bill all at the same time kind of cool isn't it so guys if the video was helpful please remember your promise and drop a like and a follow and maybe comment by saying how it worked for you and what were your final results that really helps other people and if you want to see other tutorials like this, for example, for your CPU. We have them on the channel. I have dedicated playlists, and I also show you guys how to make very cheap gaming PCs that go very fast in case you're interested. So I wish you guys a good day. Bye-bye.